tomorrow as tap day in the city of Pittsburgh. Kathy Milton went out today and found a glass, a class of tap dancers practicing the Bobby Durant. Dancing hopefuls, believe it or not. Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire probably started out in dance classes like this, but these youngsters have probably never heard of either. Who are their dancing heroes today? Uh, I really didn't have one. Favorites of these kids are Patrick Swayze and Gregory Hines. It was Hines and his movie Tap that focused attention on Tap Day in Pittsburgh. And today, with doting mothers on the side, these kids, not in their teens yet, tap the light fantastic with dreams of pageants, prizes, and Miss America in their heads. Well, I want to go around the world and um, compete and win trophies. For some of them, the thrill is not the prizes, but how dancing makes them feel. I feel great. I just, like, feel free and able to do anything, and I could do anything I wanted to. I go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> and when you make a mistake, what do you say? Whoops. <laughs> and at this I studio do. in Penn Hills, this woman behind the dance school is really a frustrated Hoover, whose father wouldn't let her join a company. Revenge is sweet. She and her daughter produce dancers by the dozens. The love of tap has never left Marianne Lorraine. When I'm frustrated, I just come into dancing school and get my tap shoes on and I bang my feet away and I just get that out of me. And then I'm happy and nice and the moms can all tell you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Milton, WTAE4 News. You're pretty light in your feet. I don't tap dance. I hear you do, though. Wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> That is WTAE 4 News at 6 o'clock. ABC's World News Tonight is next. This has been a WTAE 4 News presentation. The following is an editorial message from WTAE-TV.